Hey, what's up guys, that's Kazooie here, and welcome to episode 12 of Skilling to Glory. As always, in case you missed out the previous episode, be sure to check out the cards in the top right hand corner, and also in the playlist in the description down below. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos, and also, um, yeah, if you're enjoying the series so far, feel free to drop a like, would be very much appreciated. So we start off this episode by actually applying a attribute card to Sancho, because we ended off the last episode with a rage quit. And after we've done that, we come up against a uh, Bundesliga side with uh, quite a few uh, Champions League uh, Champions League players. Also, Marco Royce and uh, Arjen Robben on the wings right there. So, a decent-looking squad. And um, straight from kickoff, we went on a run here with uh, Raphael. We only need one more skill goal in order to uh, complete that objective. And we also need to uh, need to score a hat trick. Can be done with any player, basically. So that's definitely the aim for this episode. Uh, we've got uh, five games left, so uh, hopefully it is uh, hopefully it is doable. So we start off this episode in a 12th minute, where we get fouled here um, with Sancho. It was Hummels there who fouled us, and uh, we step up for the penalty with Sancho, where we uh, pick up another goal with him and uh, give us the early lead in this game as well. Then uh, straight from kickoff, my opponent uh, played that ball there out, uh, out wide to peace check while we intercept it with Sancho. Uh, go with some skill moves. Uh, eventually we managed to, uh, to get past Hummels. Go inside the box, go for a ball roll. And then yet again, it is Hummels in the space of like, I don't know, maybe two to three minutes. Uh, who gives away yet another penalty and it was yet again as well, Sancho who got down. And uh, yeah, the Englishman steps up for the penalty, shoots into the same corner and we make it 2-0. So at this point, I was just I was just hoping that my opponent wouldn't leave early because uh, it happened in the previous episode where we got two goals with Lucas, I think, and uh, we were on, a, on the run to get the hat-trick. But um, yeah, like I said, I was just praying that my opponent wouldn't leave early so we could maybe get the hat-trick with Sancho. That was definitely something I was uh, trying to get. And uh, we would create a lot of chances with Sancho. Here, another one, a fake Rabon to a perfectly timed Elastico to a ball roll, Ronaldo chop. A good save from the keeper there, and then the header from Alan, which uh, wasn't the greatest, but an easy save for uh, for Neuer there. Then at uh, 28th minute, yet again, it is Sancho there who uh, gets past the defender there with a nice McGeady spin. 1-2 there with Rafael. Uh, goes for the bridge there, trying to beat the defender. A skill we actually don't really use that often, but... Um, Again, it is Hummels there with the foul. This time we pick up a free kick, but the free kick uh, we took with Lucas uh, did not unfortunately go on target. Moving on, 30th minute, yet again, Sancho there. He was definitely turning up in this game. We go for the Alto Nado there to a fake shot, to a roulette, to a shot, which got blocked off. And uh, again, a save there from Neuer. So like I said, we got so close uh, getting uh, the hat trick basically completed with Sancho. We create a lot of chances with the, with the man himself. And... Um, yeah, it was just a matter of time until we got that third goal and I uh, was just hoping, just trying my best to, uh, to score a lot of chances, like I said. And uh, there another one as well with his weaker foot, which just went wide of the post. Then to the second half, um, he gets himself the first chance there with his uh, striker, Augustin, just went wide of the post as well. And that was the only thing he really created in this game. He didn't really create much in terms of chances. Um, then in the 60th minute, we went on a run here with uh, Gabriel Jesus. I completely failed a skill move. I did a rainbow flick, but because of it, we actually picked up yet another penalty. I was kind of uh, skeptical whether it was inside the box, but it ended up being a, uh, a penalty and nonetheless. And yet again, we step off for it with Sancho. And guess what? We hit it in the same corner. And we complete a hat-trick um, with the main man. Uh, you can see as well in the bottom left-hand corner that we obviously gave him an attribute card. Now, I'm not going to say that uh, that it played part in scoring a hat-trick with him because it was just three penalties we scored, which is crazy as well. But, um, yeah, cool to see uh, that we uh, actually did complete this challenge uh, with, uh, with Sancho. But there was still one challenge we needed to complete, which was the skill goal one. And uh, we got very close there with Jordan Botaka. Um, I did uh, decide to uh, sub on some more skillers, I think, in the second half. Uh, decided to sub on uh, Botaka and also Mackay Steven, who um, actually did pick up the ball here. Uh, a nice flick there, followed by a rainbow flick to a bicycle kick. Yet again, a big save there from Neuer. And uh, that's how that game ended as well. Fortunately, no skill goal, but we did uh, did get the hat-trick uh, objective completed with Sancho. You can see it right there. A total amount of eight chances where we definitely... Uh, Definitely should have scored more goals, I felt. But um, yeah, luckily we did uh, we did uh, complete that uh, objective. And there's only one more uh, one more thing we have to complete, and that is obviously uh, that final skill goal. So uh, moving along into the next game, 
the second game of the episode where we uh, come up against a team in the 4-4-2 formation, a uh, French looking squad uh, with not like the best, best players in his team. So uh, it was definitely uh, beatable, I felt. But um, yeah, we started off here uh, straight from kickoff yet again, this time with Sancho. We go in a skill run and uh, unfortunately we do get, uh, do get uh, tackled off the ball there. But then we pick it up yet again with Sancho, goes for the roulette. Ball roll flick there inside the box. Then we go for the El Tornado to another flick, to another flick, to a weak foot volley, which uh, actually did go on target. And uh, a good save there from his goalkeeper, Subo, uh, Subosic. Uh, then the six minutes still early on into this game. We go on a really nice run here with uh, Axel. We saw some great skill moves inside the box, but then we took the shot a little bit too late, I felt. Uh, took a touch too extra, and uh, therefore I think the shot went wide. Because uh, would have been uh, would have been a great goal as well to complete the objective. Then 13th minute, uh, we got the ball here with Rafael. Plays it on through here to Sancho, where we lose the ball. Then after some passing, we pick it up yet again here with Witzel. Uh, we go out wide a little bit to, uh, to create some space. Go for the fake shot. Roulette inside the box. Go for a ball roll to another drag back. Then we pick it up here with Rafael. Go for the scissor kick. And this one just went wide of the post as well. Uh, still no goals in this game. Then uh, on the stroke of half time, we pick it up with Gabriel Jesus. Play it out, out wide to Sancho. Goes for the fake Carbona. Wanted to go for the uh, in-air skill move there, the in-air Elastico. But he sort of turned around and therefore I completely did another skill move. I think he was ready to do the, uh, the Elastico chop, uh, weird enough. But we get fouled at the same time and uh, yet again we pick up another penalty. The fourth one in this episode. We go for the same corner and uh, we smash this one in as well to, uh, to give us a lead just before halftime. Um, then we move on into the second half. Yet again, I did make some changes. Bring on uh, Makai, Steven and Botaka. Botaka there on the right hand side. And uh, you've probably just seen like a really weird thing happen with him after I did the, uh, the fake Rabona. I will show you a slow motion version of it in the replay. Uh, I tried to do the fake Rabona to a double touch exit, but I don't know what he did, but he just sort of passed it with his left foot. It looked really weird to something I've never really seen. Like he sort of canceled the skill move. I don't know what he did because I didn't press any other buttons apart from like the the skill move buttons basically so um yeah bit of a weird thing that happened then 87th minute we uh got a run going there with makai steven hit his defender then uh, we set some pressure with sancho pick the ball up go with some skill moves then uh, a ball roll uh, ronaldo chop to beat the defender followed by a roulette then we go to lac Roqueta to beat the defender that very nicely then inside the box we go for the power shot and we hit the back of the net and that meant we got the final skill goal completed with sancho as well and right after it, we uh, we got another rage quit. So uh, yeah, a very cool way to uh, to end off this game and end off uh, all the objectives with the uh, Sancho skill squad because uh, that was the final objective we obviously had to complete. And uh, since we uh, since we completed the uh, hat trick one as well earlier in this episode, we basically got everything done. So uh, very nice. You can see as well that we now have uh, four uh, skillers completed. Uh, Ilsinho, Botaka, Makai, Steven, and Sancho. And that means that I think Maxim is uh, the next one, the Alexandro Maxim, the uh, silver Romanian from I think Mainz uh, these days, is uh, the next five star skiller we are going to be uh, trying out. So uh, looking forward to him as well, as in the last few years, he obviously was a lower jet gold, but he's now a silver. Um, in terms of packs, we get to open five premium gold packs. And uh, that means obviously that uh, we have a bit of a higher chance to maybe get a five star skiller. I still haven't packed one. Um, I actually did pack some skillers in 7.5k packs when I uh, obviously wasn't opening packs for Skill into Glory uh, and wasn't when I wasn't recording. So um, yeah, it's maybe typical that I don't pack them in this series. But um, yeah, who knows? We uh, we maybe pack one soon. But uh, anyway, guys, I uh, I really hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, series so far. A lot of editing, as you all know, uh, go uh, goes into this series. Sometimes I make little mistakes, which you probably notice as well. But um, yeah, I try to uh, to do my best to uh, to avoid them. Um, obviously, in terms of squats for uh, future skillers, uh, feel free to uh, to let me know either in the comments or on Twitter or just on Fudhead because I do uh, go on Fudhead uh, usually as well to just check out uh, check out teams that are already made around certain skillers. And uh, I've seen my name pop up quite a few times as well on Fudhead, so. Appreciate that you guys put uh, put some time into it, put some uh, effort into it as well, because uh, it's always uh, it's always cool to see some different squats around new skillers and stuff. So uh, yeah, just wanna just wanna thank you guys for it. Also, um, hopefully either this week or next week I will be streaming on Twitch. Um, not skill into glory, but probably division rivals and maybe for champions as well to just get better in the game because you you've seen my record for this series. It's just 
seriously so bad that I just need to get better at this game myself as well. So um, yeah, if you uh, if you want to check that out, feel free to uh, check out the link in the description down below uh, on Twitch. I will be uh, live streaming as I said. But anyway, guys, that's where we're going to be now for this episode. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, also hit the notification bell so you do not miss a single upload. But anyway, that's the end. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.